Kevin's going to, uh, enter the Royal rumble and be last eliminated by Shawn Michaels here. It's the 96 Royal rumble. And then he gets involved in Bret Hart's match with the undertaker for the world title. He's going to pull the ref out of the ring. And, uh, that saves the title for Bret. Of course, it sort of screws off the undertaker in the process. And Kevin Nash flips off everyone in the ring. This is important because this is the first time that we've seen a middle finger used on WWF TV. This is January 96, several months before there's a hint of an Austin 316, so to speak. Yeah. The, uh, the edginess, is this a calculated measure decision, measured decision by Vince? Because yep. if you listen to Eric Bischoff, he would say, well, Vince didn't start doing any of this attitude shit until after the NWO got hot. Well, the NWO is not even a thing here because Kevin Nash is still <laughs> in the company. Yeah. We've got a middle finger here, but again, it's from Kevin Nash. Do you remember that being a hot topic or discussed? Oh it? yeah. It was a little bit of a hot topic because it's controversial and, uh, I don't, I didn't see it as a big deal. I'll be honest with you. Right. Sure. Uh, I thought, I thought much was made of it and un, kind of undeservingly too big a deal was made of it. Yeah. There you I, go. And, uh, that's one of the universal hand signals in the, in the, in, in the world. <laughs> it is, it is. So, uh, it kind of, it, it crossed a lot of barriers, a lot of boundaries, a lot of borders, but I, I never thought it, I thought it was a little bit overblown. Quite frankly, I thought I, I'm good. I don't have a problem with us doing it. Uh, but I don't think it was a deal breaker or deal maker. But it's just one of those nuances that, uh, you know, we talk about and. I don't know. Just sometimes it's just funny to me what we, what's a big deal and what's not a big deal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 